So forgiveness is often a topic that is not taken seriously, or if it is, it is couched in religious ideas. In this video, I want to help you explore the concept of forgiveness from three different angles, yet complementary angles, so that you can evolve your own thinking on forgiveness. Just let each perspective sink in and hold on to the parts that resonate with you. At the end, we will bring these together to inspire you to approach forgiveness in a fresh way. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, the first perspective that we will look at um, is from the channeled words of Jeshua, from his, the way of the heart. So he says this, for you see, to forgive means to choose to release another from the perceptions that you've been projecting upon them. It is therefore an act of forgiving oneself of one's projections. There is a lot in this quote, and I encourage you to ponder it. He links this concept of forgiveness to the perceptions and judgments we have made of other people. But not just that, those perceptions and judgments of ourselves that we have actually then projected out of ourselves and onto the other person. So the idea is that what we have to forgive in another person is really something that we have judged of ourselves. But due to the pain and the energy of that self-judgment, we have projected it out of ourselves and onto the other person. It's the only way we could cope with it get it out of ourselves and onto someone else. So in seeking to forgive the other person, it is in fact the gateway to forgiving ourselves. Jeshua furthers this point as follows. Therefore, in truth, understand well, forgiveness is essential. And what has not been forgiven of others has not been forgiven you, not by some God that sits outside of you for the father never judges. What you have not forgiven in another or in the world is but a reflection of what you carry within as a burden that you cannot forgive of yourself. He is expressing how essential it is to forgive, to learn this art of forgiveness. When it comes down to it, forgiving someone else is not about the person or something they did, but in reality is about releasing the perceptions and judgments that you made about them, which in fact are our perceptions and judgments that you made first about yourself. Jeshua says, rest assured, you will continue to project upon others what remains unhealed, unforgiven within self. Therefore, I learned, and I learned well, that forgiveness is an essential key to healing. The opposite of forgiveness is judgment, and judgment always creates separation and guilt. So see this here, that forgiveness and healing are very much linked. If you want to see healing in your life, in all that goes on for you within, that troubles you, the resistances you have, the limitations of belief, you need to come to forgiveness and recognize it as a powerful tool and process and act to bring healing into your life. Let's turn now to Joseph Murphy and his thoughts on forgiveness from the power of your subconscious mind. He echoes the words of Jeshua. He says the following, you have a greater reason and understanding now. Forgiveness is to forgive yourself. 
Forgiveness is getting your thoughts in line with the divine law of harmony. Self-condemnation is called hell, bondage and restriction. Forgiveness is called heaven, harmony and peace. Again, he links forgiveness of others to forgiveness of self. He also highlights how in the process of forgiveness, you are bringing yourself into line with divine harmony, moving from restriction to peace. He says this, life brings you back to health, vitality, harmony, and peace. If you cooperate by thinking in harmony with nature. So life in this quote, could also be replaced with the subconscious power within. We cooperate and it will lead us to harmony. Uh, so Joseph Murphy then goes on. He says this, you must forgive everyone who has ever hurt you if you want perfect health and happiness. Forgive yourself by getting your thoughts in harmony with divine law and order. You cannot really forgive yourself completely until you have forgiven others first. You see here the link to perfect health and happiness. Again, it links forgiveness to personal healing. He puts forgiving others first as a step to forgiving yourself. Yes, in many ways, it can be a gateway to forgiving yourself. Yet also thinking back to what Jeshua says, forgiving others and forgiving yourself are intricately linked. So forgiving an other is forgiving yourself. Murphy's ideas resonate with this. You're not being magnanimous when you forgive you're really being selfish because what you wish for the other, you're actually wishing for yourself. So we'll end there with Joseph Murphy's views. And we'll turn now to Neville Goddard's thoughts on forgiveness. In his lecture, The Pruning Shears of Revision, he states, for it is magic this pruning shears of revision. It really is not only the achievement of objectives, but if you do it daily, it will awaken in you the spirit of Jesus, which is continual forgiveness of sin. Uh, Neville talked a lot about a concept he referred to as revision. You see here that he sees revision as a waking a continual forgiveness of sin. So he very much links forgiveness to this concept of revision. And he explains forgiveness as follows. What we mean by forgiveness is the identification of the other that we would forgive with the ideal that other wants to embody in the world. And so we do to him what we expect or would like the world to do to us. So whatever I myself would like to embody, that is the vision that I must hold of every man that I meet in the world, that no man is to be discarded, every man is to be redeemed, and my life is the process whereby that redemption is brought about. We see here again, the link between our perception of another and a perception of ourselves. Neville calls us to raise our perception to the ideal that we want the other person to embody in the world. Again, we see that everything is occurring in our consciousness, the thinking and feeling mental construct that we have of the world. Our view of the person to forgive or to revise is a reflection of mind of our view of self 
and to release that other of this perception is in reality a conscious activity of releasing this self-perception in mind. This, um, from Neville Goddard, is forgiveness. So that's a relatively quick introduction to Jesuas, Joseph Murphy's, and Neville Goddard's thoughts on this concept of forgiveness. We've discovered that forgiveness is a way of working with our consciousness. Recognize the power of forgiveness to bring release and to support belief change and to bring healing into your life. Also, take responsibility for what you have created in the world. To forgive another person is to forgive yourself. And to forgive yourself is to allow healing in your consciousness. That's all for this video. We will explore these concepts and ideas further in other videos on this channel. Subscribe to be notified. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you soon.